Jonathan from Rain Brothers here, rainbrothers.com. Today we're going to talk about a pressure switch and specifically the benefits of adding a low level pressure switch to your cistern pump or well pump setup. A standard pressure switch looks like this. Uh, it's a box. Usually if you have a jet pump, it's located on the side of the pump or on your tank T coming off your pressure tank. There's springs that monitor your water pressure in the line, and these springs are set so that at preset pressure points, the switch will either open, turn off, or close to turn the pump on. Uh, and by the way, uh, don't open up your pressure switch and do this with your hands. The only reason I'm doing it is because of the power supply. There's no power supply to the pressure switch itself. There is juice there if, you're, if your pressure switch is already wired up. And this pressure switch, you'll notice the difference is between the two is that this one has a toggle switch on the side and this toggle switch will turn the pump off if your water pressure dips below 15 psi. If you notice that your pump shuts off randomly the first thing we advise is to look to see if you have this type of pressure switch with the side lever here. To test if your pump is still functioning what you'll want to do is lift up on this lever slightly. You'll hear that click and you can see that the contacts are being made when you lift the lever. What this will do is provide power to the pump motor itself. And when you lift it like that, as long as you don't lift it too far, in which case it will disconnect again. But if you lift it slightly, you should hear the pump motor kick back on. If it does that and you're generating pressure again, then your pump is okay. It just needed to reset this, this pressure bar here. In order to restart your pump again, you need to hold this pressure switch until your pressure gauge shows that your water pressure is built up past 15 PSI, in which case you'll feel this lever actually take control on its own and it will stay in the upright position until down the road your water pressure again drops below 15 PSI, in which case it will automatically disconnect the power supply to the pump. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please visit our website, rainbrothers.com, where you can find this and all other pump-related supplies for your household needs.